Hello students. In this video, we will learn a very important topic of Fortran that is subroutine. Here in this uh, video, we will learn how can we uh, write a subroutine and then we call that subroutine to make use of that. So for example, we are taking matrix multiplication. Okay, as already I made a video for matrix multiplication, but now we are making that program in a very different way using subroutines. So we start with the uh, variable declaration. So as we know, we need two dimensional subscripted variables. And we are taking that all the elements of matrices are integers. So this denotes three matrices A, B, and C. So we simply write call input A call input B then call product A, B and C and then last one call output that is C read then stop and so as you see on your screen this is the program so this is the importance of actually subroutines that we just subdivide the sub uh, program into modules and we give the group uh, to write a code for a small module and then we combine all those modules here so here we have divided our program into four parts number one we will input so let us write a subroutine for input subroutine input a so as it is an independent program so we have to again declare what is a a is a 3 cross 3 matrix and let us write the process of input print star comma enter elements of matrix A. So as we know we write do loop do 10 i from 1 2 3 read star comma A i comma j j is from 1 2 3 then here we write 10 and with that end so here is the small uh, part this is the first module that we have written for the input of a when we call this statement control will jump to this subroutine and this will be executed in which we will store elements in a matrix a and it will come back here next we have call input b so let us write subroutine for that let me copy this and paste it here now we are right just have to replace b here and we declare a matrix b enter elements of b it's everything same just we have to write b here and a different label number let it be 20 let it be 20 now next next we have to call product so we have to write the procedure for product to so for that uh, let me again copy subroutine product a b and c so we have to acclaim again declare what are a b c they are two dimensional subscripted variables of dimension 3 is to 3 and let us delete this 
So as already, so we have to write three loops here. Now let me change this label number to a new number that is 30. Again write a do loop with 40 label number j from 1 to 3. And uh, here we uh, initialize c i j is equal to 0. And then again we write do k from 1 to 3 and uh, here we just write c i j is equal to c i j plus a i k multiplied by b j k and I hope you are already familiar with this uh, step. Now we have to close all the loops that we have written here. So uh, here the label numbers are 30, 40 and we have to write it here also 50. Let us close first of all 50. Continue then 40. Continue and uh, then last one that is 30 continue. So with this, so our uh, third subroutine we successfully written. Now the last one, as you see, last one is output. Now we have to take output. For that, let me copy one of the subroutine from here, control C, and uh, I paste it here. So I paste it here. So I just need to write the name of subroutine output and here the matrix is C. Let me declare C and here we have to print the answer. Multiplication of matrices equals to We just have to uh, write do let it be 60 and we have to print C matrix and 60 here then again 60 continue and print here print and uh, for good presentation we will leave one space before the printing of matrix and one space after every row print star so let us check what we have done here and uh, first of all so let me uh, show you the whole program this is the whole program here we have declared four subroutines so very small program and here is the first subroutine and uh, this is the second one and then the main part is product this pro subroutine subroutine product and this is the last one which is the output subroutine here so we have to name it input b and with same name we have to declare the subroutines that is input a and input b now let us uh, update and save it again and uh, let us check any syntax error if there is and as you see it successfully compiled now let me execute the program and uh, as you see on your screen, we have to enter the elements of first matrix 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Second matrix 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. So we have entered identity matrix and one another matrix. So answer will be the matrix A. So as you see on your screen, multiplication of matrices is a matrix because we have taken 
multiplication by identity matrix. So that means our subroutines works perfectly. I hope you got an idea. Now you can try either uh, just write whole program, just make one subroutine, it may be output or it may be product. It's up to you. Okay. Thank you very much.